and welcome to my channel and welcome to day 22 of Vlogmas. And today I'm going to be making a toy train. A toy train which in the end looks like it was made by a dad who doesn't know his way around a wood shop. But it's a toy train nonetheless. It looks a little bit crooked and very lumpy like it wasn't put the pieces of wood weren't put through a sander but it was made from the heart. Well that's the excuse I'm giving anyway. Yeah, kid, most kids don't give a crap anyway what a toy looks like. They're, you know, especially young kids, they just want to... They, they, all they care about, hey, people are giving me stuff, great, yay, hey, great. And then ten minutes later, they don't give a crap at all, usually. You know, and then and teenagers definitely don't want a toy train, usually, unless they're, like, really into trains. <laughs> but, did I have a train when I was a kid? No, I don't think I had a train when I was a kid. I might have. No, I didn't. I had, like, uh, little cars and stuff, but I didn't have a train. I had all kinds of toys. I actually had a lot of more your traditional, I guess, you know, boys' toys at the time in the 80s now. And it never really mattered with either me or my sister or my cousins or whatever. Because it was a toy. Play with it. Who cares? If you want to play with it, play with it. You're a girl. Who cares? Here, play with it. You want to play with it? Play with it. You know? So... <laughs> If somebody want, if a kid wants to play with something, I don't care. You know, my mom didn't care. Nobody in her family cared. It wasn't like, oh, these are girls' toys. Those are boys' toys. And that's the way it should, you know, it should be. Nobody should give a crap. But hey, people do. But I'm not getting into that now. You know, that's why I've been avoiding Twitter the last two, three days. Because everybody's, like, really bigoted. Not everybody, but there's been a lot of bigoted stuff on Twitter lately. But this is Christmas, so I'm thinking, hey, everybody, it's the holidays. Let's be merry and cheery. Go get pissed and eat a lot of turkey or whatever. Whatever you have for Christmas. <laughs> anyway, so it kind of looks like a t train here. At least the main part of the train. Sort of. What's the main part of the train called? Is it a caboose? Could be the caboose. Maybe it is. I don't know. But I added a little bit of detail here to the wheel, so it looks more like a wheel, sort of here. Kind of, you know, what that reminds me of something that Flintstones would be driving, because it looks so like, it looks more like a, made out of stone rather than wood, even colored, <laughs> which with a wood texture, it still kind of looks like a stone, something from prehistoric age. It could be in like, cartoon Flintstones or whatever. Excuse me, I got the hiccups again. And then I decide, we'll make it look kind of festive. We'll put a Christmas tree on the top of it. <laughs> it's a little ink leaning back at the moment, but I do fix that later. <laughs> after I give it little pointy bits, kind of. I wasn't going for detail here. I was going just for a simple, a simple look because it's like I said, some dad made it and it wasn't quite right. So he fixed the angle here. <laughs> so it looks a lot better. Add a bit more spiky bits to it. Because I couldn't see that side from the other one. I had it angled back. You know, it looks okay. It kind of looks like a tree, sort of. Very odd-looking tree. But it's a tree nonetheless. <laughs> and then I put, like, different little bubbles on top of the tree. Just, this is mostly just to add color to the final thing. Just to add a bit more extra color rather than... At this point, I was going to do, like, a wood texture, which is a lot of browns. And the only color would have been the green for the tree. And the holly leaf on the back of the train that I create after I'm done putting all these bubbles on the tree. So it needed a bit of color because it was, wasn't looking very festive. It really wasn't. And that doesn't always have to look festive, but for these I'm trying to make them look festive at least. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> and then it needs a few more bubbles. And then I was going to put a little star on it, but I was like, no, because it would blow off if it was an actual train, but or break off. And then I'm like, okay, add a little bit more detail so it kind of like create like a window for the front of the train or a extra box, I guess, where a conductor, is it a conductor? Yeah, it's a conductor. We'll be sitting, you know, so you can look out more. Smooth the back a little bit because it was a bit too bumpy and lumpy. <laughs> Very lumpy, actually. Like I said, it looks more like stone than anything. So then I need to make the berries. Is that what I'm doing here? Yeah, making the berries. I thought originally I'd make them kind of small and I'd put them on the front of the train, but then I put them on the back so I make the make the berry more bigger. More bigger. That's not English. Make the berry bigger. <laughs> Duplicate it. And then make some leaves, which I've done in the last I don't know how many videos. It's very simple. Take the sphere, stretch it, add a bit of detail. And the leaves are just once again to add more color to it. So it doesn't look so brown and drab looking. Even though Keyshot does give it a 
really neat wood effect. I probably could mess with it more, but I will eventually <laughs> once I get around to it. <laughs> I should be able to after I'm done this. Start of the new year. That's my goal. <laughs> Learn how to do more on Keyshot. Um, but yeah, and then draw some more traditional, I guess, art. Um, because I haven't drawn anything traditional for quite a while, at least a month and a bit now, so I'm, I need to do that. And I'm just adding texture to the leaf here so it's not so smooth and, it, you know, it's a little more, it makes it a little, ugh, can't talk today, makes it a little more interesting to look at. Other than so flat, push the leaf back, move the leaf, angle the leaf, which I do with the whole thing at the end, actually. I angle the whole thing and make it slightly bigger just to take up more space on the back of the train so it's not quite so boring. And then there, see you can see the wood texture which like I said it look, does look kind of like wood and because it's so bumpy and lumpy we'll say it looks like wood that hasn't been sanded. <laughs> um, been varnished apparently but it hasn't been sanded. S sanded? Ugh, can't speak. But yeah there's the back of it which looks okay too. Maybe the black chimney part may be slightly too shiny. But yeah, it's finished. And I have two more to do, so thank you for watching day 22. And tomorrow, I don't know what I'm going to be doing. So come back and see what it is.